What numeral is used to express the number 17 in base 16? Is it A, 17, B, 1, C, 11, or D, 2? Soon you'll be able to snap answer questions like the one we just saw for any base. This is due to one of the patterns I'm about to show you for numeral systems. These patterns apply to bases 2 through 36. If you aren't up to speed yet with different bases and positional numeral systems, check out this sequence of videos in the data science playlist. These videos build up to this one. All right, then I will. I'm here in another notebook that I've set up to visualize these patterns. It's a basic setup. We choose a number in decimal form at the top and the table updates in real time. In the table, we have a column that tells us the base and a second column that displays the numeral that encodes the chosen number in the respective base. The bases start at base two and go up to base 36. Don't forget the link to this notebook will be in the description. All right, let's look at the first pattern. One, one, one. The first pattern is with the number zero. The number zero is expressed the same across every base. Two, two, two. The second pattern is just like the first, except for the number one. The number zero and the number one are both special in that their representation is the same across positional numeral system bases. Three. The third pattern will allow the question that we saw earlier to be snap answered. The pattern is like this. For any base, the numeral for the base is one zero. This pattern holds because of the carryover process that we discussed in the previous videos. So no matter what the base is, if I ask you what the numeral is for the base in the base, the snap answer is one zero. Check out the numeral for the number two in base two. And watch now how the numeral one zero moves down the list as we increment the number. The clue to answering the question at the beginning of the video is to watch behind the number one zero and see who's trailing. If you can see it, let me know in the comments. This pattern keeps on going. Four. Four. The fourth pattern is that if the base is higher than the number, only one digit is required. Check it out. Five. 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 The fifth pattern is a relationship between the magnitude of the number and the number of digits required in each base to encode the number. To see this, let's choose a massive number. Let's go with a number like one quadrillion. So let's see, we have millions, billions, trillions, then quadrillions. Look at how many digits it takes to encode the number one quadrillion in base two. And as the base goes up, the number of digits starts to drop. By the time we get to base 36, only 10 digits are required to encode the number one quadrillion. This fact is related to the range constraint that computers have when it comes to representing numbers with a finite number of digits. And this relationship holds because we can represent more numbers with a single digit as the base goes up. Be sure to check out this notebook yourself. Give it a try and see if you can come up with any other interesting patterns. If you can, let everyone know in the comments. And if you're following the data science playlist, I'll see you over in the next one.